Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're starting off the new year with a roster reveal. I know a lot of people ask me the question, how many five stars do you have? How many ranked up uh, five stars? How many are at rank four? Well, this video is going to answer all of those types of questions. Uh, we're going to go through each tier and off to the side, you will see a breakdown of how many I have at each tier. And I'll talk a little bit about some of the champions and my favorites and that sort of thing. But before we get started, I wanted to just mention very briefly about this whole free to play label. Uh, there's no official definition and some people uh, consider free to play only if you have never spent any money on the game ever, like uh, Brian Grant. And that's fine if that's how they define it. Uh, I don't believe that that kind of definition is helpful because if someone is asking me if I'm free to play, what are they truly asking? Do they really care that I spent $10 back in 2014? Or are they concerned with my roster and my progression and how I built this roster? So in that context, saying that you're free to play or not free to play doesn't give enough information. What you really need to be explaining is how you achieved your roster, how you are maintaining, how you are progressing. All right. Now, up until about three months ago, I called myself free to play. I have spent money on the game. Um, in almost four years, I think I have purchased five offers, never for progression, never for uh, units, never for crystals. Uh, my progression has purely been me grinding out this arena for eight hours or more a day. Okay, that is what it takes to progress as I did without spending money. But three months ago, one of my members of my channel, uh, he gave me money to get the sigil. I said, okay, well, because I have the sigil and the last three months, they have given me money to get the sigil. I cannot say that I'm free to play. Not because the sigil has such a great impact on progression. I don't believe it has much at all, but it does have some impact on the progression. And so because of that, I'm not going to say I'm free to play. I'll say I'm cheap to play. Uh, one of the guys who left a comment on my videos coined that phrase and I liked it. Um, but I just want anyone who is watching this to know that what you're about to see here is built with hard work, not money. I have never purchased units those unit offers, I have never, um, not units offers, but I've never bought any of those packages like the Peter Parker wallet or anything like that. Uh, one offer, I think for 4th of July, came with a few units and I got that. But other than that, I don't spend to progress. That is the important thing you need to know. So we're going to take a look at a roster that you can build without the need to spend any money. Forget about the labels. You don't need to spend money, but you will spend something, time or money. And to progress, I spend time for the most part up until three months ago. So that is my little take on the whole free to play uh, type of a thing. Whatever label you want, it really doesn't matter unless you get at the heart of what is needed, um, which is, or the question that is really being asked, which is, how are you progressing? How are you building your roster? Nobody cares if you spent some money buying a new profile picture. If you spent money on the game buying a profile picture, you know, you bought some units and then you bought the profile picture you're no longer free to play. What difference does that make? 
It had nothing to do with your progression. Okay, so that's my take. Agree with me, disagree with me. It's all good. I'm cheap to play now because I do have the sigil. But for my progression, I still progress with time spent in the arena. All right, so here are my six stars. Uh, Guillotine 2099 easily is the best one out of all of these. Okay, so you can see the six stars here. Um, I would take her to rank two, but right now content, until the Abyss of Legends comes out, the content really isn't worthy of her. So you've seen my six stars. You have the breakdown of my six stars there. All right, let's go to my five stars and let's sort these by um, rank. All right, so that you can see my um, rank five, five stars. Uh, Corvus, definitely one of my favorites. Thing, also one of my favorites. This Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, also one of my favorites. And Ghost, definitely one of my favorites. Uh, now, of the rank fives, there are two that stand out because every one of these rank fives that you see here, I ranked for fun. I actually enjoy playing with them. That includes Phoenix. I know she's not really good, but I actually had fun playing with her. That sounded bad, but ignore it. Uh, Quake. I do not enjoy Quake style, but you cannot deny how good Quake is. She is a beast. And so she is one that I ranked for her utility just because of how good she is. All right. Uh, the other one is Thor Ragnarok. I ranked him purely for prestige. I do not like him. That doesn't mean he is not useful in some situations. I don't care for him. I dislike him a little less after seeing what he could do when he goes up against, like, say, Winter Soldier, where you have someone that doesn't have a um, special three active. All right. And we'll keep going down here so you can see the rest of my five stars. Uh, and off to the side, of course, you have the breakdown. So you will see how many rank fours, how many rank fives, threes, twos, all that good stuff. Now, just recently, if you haven't watched the video, sorry to spoil it, but I just got a new champion. Everyone here is ranked two and above. And I will be ranking some more. I rank up someone every level up. But we came down here. This Spider-Man stealth suit, he's the only one at rank one because I just got him earlier today. And there hasn't been a level up event. So he will go to rank two, possibly rank three. I don't know at this point in time. All right. So those are my five stars let's take a look at my four stars the sort should still be there i still rank up four stars okay um i am an arena grinder you heard my spiel earlier if you listen to it congratulations uh but i grind arena a lot so i want these guys maxed out as much as possible for more points in the arena it helps me out now, with the four stars, I have every four star that is available in crystals. I also have a couple of trophy champions, and you will see them in a little bit here. But I have all of the four stars that you can get uh, from crystals. Uh, I have Kang. I got him in a previous gifting event. And I also have the Immortal Iron Fist. I do not have uh, Red Deadpool. And I don't have Thanos. And I don't remember who else is a trophy champion. But I go for every single new four-star that comes to the contest. And if I have a lot of fun playing with them, 
I will also rank them up. All right, three stars, a similar situation. I have all of the three stars and I max them out. The only ones that won't be maxed are ones that I just got. Or if um, a level up event came along and I had someone else to level up, then I wait until there's like maybe a double, like there's an advancement as well as a level up. So I could double dip by leveling up the right class. Uh, that's what I reserve my three stars for these days. But as you can see, I have a lot of three stars and they're all maxed out. Variant four was fun. I had plenty to choose from, although I did tend to choose my favorites, but I had plenty to choose from. And I hope they do content like that uh, in the future. I want more of those. All right, so as you can see, all of my three stars currently are maxed out. All right, now let's go to my two stars. And I know not all of them are maxed out, but I usually reserve them, like I mentioned earlier, uh, for level up events. But I have a few that I got that the time and, and the uh, advancement just hasn't uh, aligned. All right, so those are my two stars here. And when we get down to the end, you'll see the two stars that I don't have. All right, so Red Skull, Vulture are two that I do not have maxed out. So when a level up event comes along and say there's a tech advancement, well, if I have a tech as a five star that I wanna rank up to three, that gets up there first. If I have a four star tech that I wanna rank up to four or five, I'll do that one first. But if I don't have any four star that I want to rank up as a tech, and I don't have any five star tech that I wanna rank up, then I will rank up these two stars. So until then, until that situation happens, they will remain where they are. And finally, the one stars. Don't even need to really scroll. Now, I when I first started, I remember selling a champion or two, thought that I didn't need them. I thought that I could promote. If you don't know what that means, I thought that uh, your one stars could, at max level, become two stars. But when I found out that that wasn't the case, I'm like, well, what do I need these one stars for then? I'm gonna be working with uh, my two stars once I get them. But I thought I had gotten all of the champions back in other events uh, that have come but I'm still missing a few. All right, so you can see how many I have. I believe there are 12 one stars total, okay? So I'm missing, what, three? So, um, and I forget who is it, Spider-Man Classic, I'm missing. Uh, Vision, not that Vision, but the other Vision, uh, was it Age of Ultron, something like that. And, uh, I forgot who else I'm missing, um, but variant four, I got to use these guys and uh, I'm very happy that I had a Hulk because I wouldn't have been able to explore without that Hulk. And I'm glad I had Black Panther. Oh, Wolverine. That's the other one star that I'm missing. So Wolverine, I'm missing. The other Vision, Age of Ultron, I think. Um, and also Spider-Man Classic. All right, so that is my roster. This is a roster that takes time. I've built it over almost four years, and I did it by not spending, but by grinding that arena every day for a good eight hours. You know, there's a couple of times I, I take breaks from the arena, but um, that is just hard grinding. Uh, I grind every day pretty much uh, on stream. So if you haven't seen my stream, uh, just today, three hours, 30 minutes, we went through uh, some arena grind. I'm gonna do that again tonight before I go to bed. I'll do that tomorrow morning, and then I'll do it again during the stream, and then again at night. 
So that's what it takes to get this kind of progression. And also keep in mind, I am competing at a higher level. You don't have to compete at that high level. All right. So if you're not trying to compete at a high level, don't worry about it. You can go ahead and uh, play at your own pace, you know, an hour here, two hours there, and you're good. Uh, some guys, they only play for about maybe three hours a day total. Okay. So it's not necessary to grind like I do, but I do it because I want to build up those units. Also, I'm in an alliance that's not necessarily the top, top master level type alliance. So I don't get as many resources as the master level alliances. So they can do it a little bit less. And the bigger my roster grows, the less time I actually need to spend in the arena if all I'm doing is getting milestones. But I grind for these units so that I'm able to get unit offers, uh, the offers for units, because I don't spend to get those units. So I've got to grind arena to get the units. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Uh, happy New Year. And I hope you all enjoyed yourselves during the holidays. Take care. Click like if you like the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video, your thoughts on anything that I've talked about here during the video. And you all have a blessed day.